She got a missus. Uh huh. She good in bed. You want to talk about your situation here or what? You've been indicted for manslaughter, first degree. I know all that. Tell me why you're here. <laughs> the truth? No, the lies. I love listening to lies, Levinsky, especially when I'm drowning in them. I know why you're here. You're here to see if I'm crazy, right? Mm -mm, that's not it. You're here to see just how crazy I am. Well, there are two psychiatrists who already say that you're incompetent. Ha! Marcin and Arantes, frickin' frack. <laughs> Arantes can barely speak English, and Morrison, he's a very weird guy. You know, I flashed and he didn't even look. I bet you live in scare. You weird, too? Your mother told me to tell you that she loves you. The hell with my mother! Why didn't you tell me you were working for them in the I'm first not place? For them. Just Why didn't you horses. tell me that? Hold it. Listen, lady. I came what? here to do my job in good faith. You talk to my mother? Will you listen to me? You know, you got a choice. What did she tell you? You can either cooperate with me, and maybe it goes your way, or you can yell at me, and I'll sign that motion to commit, and that'll be that. You creep lawyers, you're all alike. As long as you get your fee, you don't care who goes where for how long. Lady, I am not taking and any now, money from you. this one comes in here and tells me if I don't kiss his feet, he's gonna walk out on me. Well, walk! To be held in contempt of court? No, thank you. It doesn't work that way. I'm stuck with you. Mrs. Draper, it just doesn't look good for you to beat up one of the top attorneys in the city. Well, it might not have looked good, but it sure felt good. What was I supposed to do? Sit there like a, a good little girl and listen to my own lawyer say I wasn't competent to stand trial? Are you? Well, how competent do you have to be? Good point. You're a very frightened girl. And under stress, you can become dangerous to yourself and to others. That's what I plan to say in court on Monday. You need treatment in order to be able to control yourself. I'm in control. Like right now, I'd like to wring your neck. But I'm not going to. Good. That's a step in the right direction. When is the last time you went through your wife's dresser? Hmm? When, is, when is the last time you scouted around in her panty drawer? It's no big deal. It is a big deal! When is the last time someone went through your things without permission? I'm sorry. What are you going to do now? Sleep with someone else? These uh, men that gave you uh, cash gifts, did they expect you to talk to them? Sure. Did you listen to them? God, yes. And you did them favors? Your Honor, you did them favors. Mm -hmm. What kind of favors? Objection on the same grounds. I mean, what kind of favors did you do in exchange for those gifts? What difference does it make how Mrs. Draper chooses to make what living? What kind of favors? Why don't we stop all this crap and get to the point? You want to know what I do for a living? Ask me. My time is very expensive, Mr. McMillan, probably more than yours. I get $500 an hour. How much do you get? If you want to wear my panties, that's another 100 You take them home, another 100 no whips, no ropes, no spikes. I've got liquor and grass. Anything else, you bring your own. It works like this. You call me up. We make a date. I look you over. And if I like you, we make a deal. And darling, I am worth the trouble. Take my word for it. If you want the best. Do you want the best, Mr. McMillan? I am talking about taking your body to heaven and sending your mind south. I'm talking about spoiling you so bad. You'll hate every other woman you touch. I'm talking about my mouth on your mouth. I'm talking about indulging your every fantasy and then giving you those fantasies one by one. Just for you, all for you, nobody but you. You also believe that Dr. Morrison is acting out of a personal motive too, don't you? No, I don't. No. I'm sure he believes what he believes. 
He thinks whores are girls who hang out on 8th Avenue and stick needles in their arms. Whores aren't nice white girls from nice white homes. Yeah, he knows that as sure as he knows his wife is home cleaning the oven. Isn't that right, Herbie? But what if he's wrong? What if his wife is out with the insurance salesman? <laughs> what if he's just a jackass with the power to lock me up? What if that's all he is? A jackass with power. You believe that your mother wants to hurt you? She doesn't want to, but... Uh... You, you, you don't believe your mother wants to help you? <sighs> yeah, sure she wants to help me. You all want to help me. Except for Harry. You don't believe your mother loves you? Of course she loves me. She told you that, didn't you hear it? He wrote it down. Dr. Morrison, in view of the defendant's testimony and all that's happened in this court, have you changed your opinion as to her capacity? Absolutely not. Oh, wait a minute. Wait one damn minute. Mrs. Draper. Capacity? Why me? Why not him? Did they examine him for his capacity? Did they examine her? You are no longer on the stand. Well, then put me back on the stand until I convince you. Don't whip me with your rules. While you're playing with your rules, the meter's running out of my life. Your Honor, please. Please. Let her go. Thank you. But I, I, I'm, I'm not just a picture in your heads. I'm not just a daughter or a wife or a hooker or a patient or a defendant. Can you get that? All right. You think having sex for $500 is nuts, huh? Yeah. Well, I know women who marry men they despise so they can drive a Mercedes and spend summers in the Hamptons. I know women who crawl through dirt for a fur coat. I know women. Yeah, I know women who peddle their daughters to hang on to their husbands. So don't judge my behavior. It's sane. I knew what I was doing every damn minute. And I'm responsible for it. <laughs> <laughs>